Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shots. Sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got some plays for you today out of the Jets defense. We're going to be doing some blitzes out of the Big Dime 146. I'm going to be putting gameplay out using this quite a bit, um, including the next gameplay that I show you. But I'm also going to break this down in practice mode because I think a lot of people have uh, a little bit more. It's a little bit easier for some people to, uh, to, to, to digest when I do it in practice mode. So I'm going to show pretty much three plays that I use in a scheme, although ultimately you can get a lot of heat from a lot of these plays. I've already put out some blitzes. Uh, from this, uh, including the uh, the Spinner Dog 3 I put out a while ago, uh, the Crossfire 3 I put out a while ago. I mean, the Dime 146 is one of the better, uh, you know, it's one of the better uh, defensive formations in the game, as long as your opponent isn't, you know, a run-heavy player. This is a pass-heavy defense, obviously. Uh, but ultimately, I'm going to show three plays. I'm going to go ahead and put it in my uh, put them in my uh, audibles. Uh, my favorite's probably this, the DB Sting. Now it's an all-out blitz, so you can't run it uh, all game. It's already in the audibles as well. Uh, my second favorite is probably the uh, the DB Sting Buzz or uh, Two Buzz, uh, which is not going to be in the in the uh, audible. So we'll go ahead and we'll put that in there. And then my third would be the um, you know this one's a little bit more passive, uh, the uh, the Cover Two Sink. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put. Uh, I guess that's already in there as well. So we have all three plays in the uh, in the in the audibles, and uh, let's go ahead and let's start off. We're going to start off with uh, with the with the cover two sink, although that's not going to be the first play we show necessarily. So let's go ahead and let's switch that up. The, to me, the best one is the DB stink. So I'll go ahead and I'll start off with that. Before I start the video, though, I just want to thank my new sponsors at MMOXP.com. If you guys are looking to buy some coins for your mutt team, you can do that there, and you can support me by supporting them and buying your coins through them. And make sure to use discount code Money Shot so they know that you came from my site, from my channel. Other than that, let's go and let's get into the video. So the way this scheme works um, is it can it really can be successful if you if you mix it in. If you use the same play two times in a row or three times in a row, if I keep sending this defense, eventually my opponent's going to figure it out. You know I mean, so I can't keep running this. I have to mix it up. I have to go from that to the DB sting. I have to go from that to the to the cover two sink. You really have to mix these plays in. And if you do it um, consistently enough, your opponent's never going to know what he's what he's looking at because they all look the same pre-snap. You know what I mean? Like there's there there no matter which one you go with, they all will set up the same. So that's important. But ultimately, uh, if I if I fall in love with one play and I run it over and over and over, I'm going to run into trouble against opponents. They're going to figure out, okay, I can throw this right away against the DB's fire buzz, or I can throw. You know what I mean? There's you can't you can't run the same play twice in a row. You really have to mix it up. So on a play like this, I don't really let my opponent's formations dictate. I typically, I'm, when you run a defense like this, you're pretty much dictating to your to your opponent's offense. So like I said, to me, this one's my favorite. Uh, you just have to basically QB contain, move these guys into contain positions. You know, if you just get them into the contain position, you're pretty much good to go. As you can see right here, I mean, he's not. So if he, he does some weird thing where he, like, runs across the formation, you can see right here, like, they're just, if they're not in the contain, they, they kind of do what they want, and that's not good. So you have to try to make sure they're in the contain. Here they're not once again, but I'm tired of messing with it. So I'm just going to go ahead and let it, let it ride. Uh, and then we have a screenplay, which obviously is going to be a pretty good counter to an all-out blitz like this. But ultimately, it didn't work. So, like I said, here we go once again. Like I said, we're just going to... I started using this. When you play Mutt, a lot of people have Lamar Jackson, Michael Vick. Uh, and I started using this to try to counter those defenses. Uh, because, obviously, um, you know, when you when you have these speedy quarterbacks, and Josh Allen fits them all as well, you're going to need uh, some speed to, to, to counteract that. Because it was just to the point where you can see right there. We get the sack. It's an all-out blitz. You're going to get sacks. But you need speed to counteract some of these speedy quarterbacks. So, like I said, in the replay, all it really is, these guys are just, somebody's just going to come in free. That's the bottom line. Uh, but that's pretty much the look. So let's go and let's move on. Like I said, the DB fire to sting, pretty much the exact same setup um, as you can see right here. I mean, we're just going to do the exact same thing, bring these guys in. 
we can bring these uh you know that's the, the biggest challenge is getting these cornerbacks in on a particular play now here i don't actually have to um you know i don't have to blitz all i have that choice uh but here on this particular setup since it's an empty backfield i'm not going to do that and you can see how we get the sack if it's an empty backfield you don't have to blitz all sometimes i will send the house you know what I mean? but on this particular play i'm just basically I already messed it up on this particular play i'm just basically doing the exact same pinch uh, from both sides, pinch on D-line and, uh, I'm sorry, pinch linebackers, pinch, um, you know, D-line or D-line and linebackers, and you can see I'm having the exact same success, so like I said, I'll bring this guy in here, oops, I'm bringing in the wrong guy, that's another thing too, is you can see how it's kind of confusing, who's the blitzer, so I'll go ahead and I'll use her Jenkins side, and we'll get the exact same look, keep you, you gotta move those guys to keep you contained, and there, you know, we did a decent job stopping and run, I actually backed out of the hole, but it is what it is, so like I said, continuing with the, uh, with the DB, um, you know with the, with this like I said, we're just pinching the D line pinching the uh, linebackers That's all it is and then bringing these guys into the contains And that's the biggest part is getting these guys in the contains properly as you can see right there pull for whatever reason keeps fighting it. Like I said, I'll just move this guy into user like I said No, there's no you know, no running back in the backfield. So there's no real need um, And you can see right there. I must get the pick uh, as the uh, the guy did come off the edge free again Good, let's watch the replay because we really didn't get the. He got it out so quick, you really didn't get to see that. But you will expect quick passes, you know what I mean? That's the bottom line. So, like I said, these guys, I mean, he's just coming off free. Super easy because there's three guys. This 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 tackle here is reading like three guys, you know what I mean? Like, they don't know what to do. Like, there's so much, um, you know, going on there. And then, obviously, this guy here, he starts off by running in and then he drops back into the coverage. So, you get pretty good coverage, bottom line. So, much better coverage than the all-out blitz. So, one more time with the DB. Uh, with the DB2 blitz, like I said, all I'm doing is pinching, and then pinching again, pinching my linebackers, pinching my my, uh, you know, pinching all my guys, and bring this guy in, and we're good to go. You know what I mean, that's all. That's really all there is to it. So we got our QB contained set up. If this is an inside zone, it's not gonna be good for me. But obviously, he comes off the edge, shuts that down, which is good. Free free rusher, you know. Anytime you get that free rusher. So here we go one more time. We're gonna do that DB. Oh, no, I want to get a few more sacks here. <laughs> Let's get these guys into their contains. Like I said, that's the biggest challenge is getting these guys into their contains before your opponent snaps the ball. So here we're gonna use her, this guy. Like I said, once again, um, you know that an inside zone would not be good for me. Uh, but it's also not good for him if he's running a uh, <laughs> he's running a play action. You can see we get both guys off the edge. Let's watch the replay on that one. So here we get both guys off the edge. Like I said, they're just stacked too crazy. I mean, look at this. Only three guys get blocked. You know what I mean? That's the bottom line. Three guys get blocked out of the rushers. I get stuck up a little longer than I want to be. But uh, it's a five-man blitz. Three guys getting blocked. I mean, there's six blockers actually with the running back. Once he gets off of that play action, he is a blocker. So three rushers get blocked out of six guys. And then the rest are just coming off the edge free. Um, you can also run this an all-out blitz. If you just want to send all, you can do that. Like if you want to run, if you want to send all, um, which I was mentioning earlier, all you have to do is just just hit, uh, you know, your hit your linebacker adjustment and blitz all. That's it. If you really want to just send send the house, you can do that. You don't have to do anything else other than bring these guys into the contain. And if you're gonna do this, obviously, I mean, I'll still use the exact same thing. Like right here, I'll just drop back this linebacker into that into that slot receiver or that tight end. But this here, I mean, you're you know, this one's leaving you a little bit more vulnerable. But it's an option, so you do have that option. Like I said, right there. I mean, obviously, I don't know what he was waiting on, but there's still you got to get the ball out quick. So you can always do that, uh, do that adjustment, because the way this play is, is it's dropping uh, defensive line or it's dropping linebackers. It's all linebackers. So if I just blitz all my linebackers, I have the option to send just to send the, the, the uh, complete house blitz. Now here I can take this cornerback because obviously there's you know I don't I can I can keep sending the house because obviously there's nobody outside there's no receiver outside there to take up. Uh, but you can see if you're doing that, I mean, you can have success, but, you know, it's a little bit riskier. Uh, but I've seen people do it. So, you know, it's something to think about. But ultimately, you know, I like running it like this. So just pinching both sides, getting this guy into the contain. And, you know, two running backs in the backfield. This has a pretty decent chance of picking this up if they're both staying back. But typically they're not. As you can see right there, they both go out and it's lights out. So let's go and let's move on to the last play. So the last play is the cover two sink. Like I said, sets up the exact same way, and all I'm going to do is QB contain once again. Exact same setup. Got my choice on which one of these linebackers I want to use. Uh, and then, like I said, looks the exact same pre-snap. Your opponents could be thinking that uh, here it comes. And then you have, you know, he still got him free. <clears throat> I have to go to the replay. This is a pretty well-known blitz as well. You can see it still gets him free. The running back went out on a route, and the speed of this guy just comes around the edge. So you're still going to get pressure. 
once again, four guys coming in, only three getting blocked. So you're still going to get pressure, but ultimately you have much better coverage. You know what I mean? That's the bottom line. That's why you mix these three in. Hopefully it catches your opponent off guard. They start throwing uh, into your into your zones at this point. So in an open in an empty backfield like this, it's going to be even better. So like I said, I'll bring Mosley down here. I'm always going to bring the guy in that's um, that's that's furthest out. You know what I mean? Because I want to pull that guy. And then you can see, obviously, we get a really good really good pressure right there. Once again, we get the sack. We get that stupid animation where he obviously was sacked for a <laughs> for a fumble, but it didn't happen. But you know, hey, when's EA gonna fix that? Honestly, like that's so stupid. So I go one more time. Like I said, I could I could even use this guy here, but I already messed it up. I'm using it, dropping him back. So like I said, just you know, bringing all these guys down uh, to to mirror the same look, and we're gonna get. I actually got caught up there. We're usually gonna get pressure, like right there. It didn't didn't work out. Doesn't get much though. You know what I mean? Like so. So this would be definitely be the defense if you're running against, against it like a third and long. This would be a very good defense for that. So do that cover two sink one more time. It's going to be best opposite the running back um, if I could flip that. You know what I mean? So let's just go ahead and let's flip that play real quick. Although it's not really letting me. So it is what it is. But ultimately, you want this cornerback as being the one that's blitzing. So if he's the guy coming off the edge, um, he's going to have more success based off of the fact that uh, the running back a lot of times just won't see him on the other side. So we'll just go ahead. We'll just put this. We'll just do it. We'll just do it manually. Since it wasn't letting me flip it in practice mode. And then, like I said, this is pretty much going to be the look. So, and this is also dependent on that tight end um, running a route, which is going to be important. And like I said, we're shutting down the run a little bit more than we will normally online. I don't recommend this as a run defense by any means. So, here we go. We got that uh, empty backfield look. Like I said, this is, this is going to be the best. So, this guy obviously stands up. I'm going to go ahead and bring him down. And this is it right here. So, you know, we should get pressure. Definitely have better coverage, and we're getting a free. There we actually get the sack for, uh, fumble finally. That stupid animation. Uh, but you can see, I mean, we're getting pressure from all three plays. So that's it. That's the vid. Uh, like I said, I'll touch on this formation more in the future uh, when my, when I put out some gameplays about it. Um, but that's it. If you guys want to see more out of this, do me a favor to like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching and my shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.